Hey everyone, Sean Frangelic here for MotionTutorial.net with a Cinema 4D R18 new features video about the new feature Parallax Bump Mapping. This is a really cool feature inside of creating bump maps where you can really enhance the idea of using a bump map and make it look a lot more realistic by adjusting the parallax offset and parallax samples, which are new features. So here we have this quick render. And if I turn off my render region, all it is is a sphere and a flat plane. But if I turn on my render picture viewer, we can see it looks like it's this cool ringed surface. And if we even zoom in a little closer here you can see even if you get the camera close the illusion isn't broken and the use of this is that you can do this with bump mapping and it's going to render really quickly as opposed to trying to do this with displacement and actually displacing the geometry which can be a bit render heavy so it's a nice little update and let's talk about getting it set up so real quick here i have this finished bump map and if we just take a look at this without parallax offset you can see that's really as far as we could get with this. So we could turn the strength up if we were using it like this, but it's not gonna look like there's actual depth. And again, we could do this with displacement and actually displace our geometry with something like noise, assuming we have enough segments in there and actually distort the geometry. But again, this can be a little render heavy. So. What's good as an in-between is our new parallax bump map. So let's talk about how we created that ring surface. I'm just gonna delete that tag from our plane and I'm gonna create a new material, open this up, call it mat three since I had this little test scene. And I'll just make this kind of a darkish gray material and turn on our render region so we can see a real-time updates. Well, if I go to bump map, I can check this on and I could do something like a noise map and it's gonna give it some texture and you can see even here it looks a little flat but let's create that cool ring surface because it's a really good example to talk through this so i'm just going to clear that out and then i'm going to go to texture gradient and i'm going to click into gradient and i'm just going to take this gradient and right click a couple times and double my knots and then double and double so it looks like it's creating little lines well rather than type 2d u or v i'm going to go to 2d circular and there we go. So it's this nice little ring surface from far away. It'll look like it's procedurally raised. But again, if we move the camera here, you can see it's not really believable and the illusion is broken pretty quickly. Well, what we can do is click on bump and again, turn on this parallax offset. And the more we increase that, the more it's going to increase that shifting of the map between the black and white. So if we keep turning that up, you can see it's gonna look increasingly more raised and sunken. And if we were getting a little bit of render issues, we could turn up our parallax samples and you can see it's gonna smooth that out. And if we wanted it to look the opposite, we could do negative strength and there it's gonna look like it's sunken. So it's a really cool new feature. It really changes the way that you can use bump maps because you can make them now look a lot more realistic and the illusion isn't gonna get broken when you look at the camera from a certain point of view, look how cool that looks. And it's actually just one plane with a bump map on it. And you can save your render time without needing to use displacement, which can increase it. So it's a really useful new feature. And if you wanna read more about it, be sure to right click on any of these. You can go to show help and really read about the science of how this parallax bump map is working and everything you can do with it. It's a really cool new feature to R18. You can really greatly improve your bump maps if you're trying to get some quick results with using bump maps as a way to improve the realism of materials and really save on render time. Be sure to check it out. It's a new feature of Cinema 4D R18. And if you want to check out more new features for Cinema 4D R18, be sure to check out motiontutorials.net where I have full breakdowns on all of the new features, including my top five new features, MoGraph updates, the new thin film shader, the awesome new Vernoy fracture, and more new features. And don't forget to check out some of the new Cinema 40 products I have in the online store at motiontutorials.net slash store, where you can pick up Cinema 40 templates, lighting and rendering assets, and new packs for 360 Environment Maps Pro, 
which are packs of 8K environment photos, assets, and a Cinema 4D templates to quickly and easily make your 3D scenes look awesome. If you have any questions on this tutorial or any of my other new featured tutorials, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella and check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motion tutorials. I love hearing from fans of the videos and talking about all these new features. And if you want a quick dose of other new features for R18, be sure to check out the other R18 videos I have up on YouTube by clicking on any of those thumbnails that are popping up there now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.